A lot of people ask me what the weirdest thing I've ever seen in the old growth forest is. You want to take a guess? Bigfoot? No. Your mama? No. Here, never mind. I'll just show you. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It's an albino redwood tree. Actually, there's no such thing as albino redwood trees. There's only branches off of redwood trees that are albinos. Albino redwood trees can't live on their own. They can't live on their own because they have no chlorophyll. That's the green stuff in leaves that turns sunlight into sugar and drives all life on Earth. So they're always part of a redwood tree. <laughs> the first time that I was told about albino trees, I was told they're parasites that were sucking the life out of redwoods, but they're not. Now we know that albino redwood trees are actually sequestering heavy metals. They're absorbing cadmium and nickel that is in the soil. Now, cadmium and nickel will kill a redwood tree in large amounts. These pure white albino leaves have twice the amount of toxins in them than the same tree's green leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and they take a lot more water. And we think it's because they're flushing all the heavy metals out of the green part of the redwood tree and sequestering it in here. And that helps the redwood tree continue to live. This isn't really a parasite. It's more like a liver or a kidney that's filtering out the bad stuff for the tree. They are beautiful toxic waste dumps. A lot of people say they're pure white, but they're more like a whitish, yellowish. Like your teeth? People will come out and they'll take cuttings and stuff off the albino trees. And those people suck because there's not very many albino trees. There are more albino trees around people, like in Santa Rosa and Sonoma County, than there are out in the old growth redwoods. And that's because there are more pollutants around cities and sewer ponds and stuff. So some scientists are actually exploring whether or not they can clone albino redwood trees in order to clean up toxic waste sites. I'll keep you updated on that. So yes, albino trees are one of the most unusual things I find in the old growth forest, but you can find a lot more um, around where there's people. I'm Griff from Redwoods Rising. Rising.org is a solutionary collaboration between Redwood National Parks, State Parks, and Save the Redwood League. At Redwoods Rising, we're learning a lot about old growth forest right now because we're going into second growth forest and we're trying to help it heal itself. And in this process, we're learning so much about Redwood Forest and all the things that live there. We do some amazing stuff, including land back to the Yurok people whose land most of our project is on, okay? We do amazing things like Redwood Rising Apprenticeships, where we help college students get some forestry background and experience and some biological survey background and experience, Redwood Rising Apprentices. Not just trying to restore also everything that lives in there, including the endangered species like salmon are being canceled, salmon fisheries being canceled because there's so few salmon left. This is a cultural keystone to the Yurok and Talawas whose land our projects um, are on. And so we're trying to bring back this very, very important cultural species as well as commercial fishing species, salmon, and it's working. Our work works.